Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We're on a little bit of a short trip here, having to take care of a few things. But I want to just uh, share some things with you. One, definitely do be praying for the people of Texas there. Uh, we talked to Sister Rosa the other day when the hurricane was hitting uh, over there in Texas. And a lot of people, no doubt, suffering with all this tremendous rainfall. Uh, I know that Brother Begley has been bringing this out as well, giving this to the people's attention, but these people do need your prayers. Uh, it, it's been just a, an amazing storm, Category 4 hurricane that struck the coast there. And of course, uh, from what I understand, uh, Brother Begley had mentioned about 100 tornadoes that struck this area. Uh, they definitely do need your help uh, as far as prayers and that just that so they know that we stand with them in solidarity. Uh, also, I want to mention as well, there's a very fascinating revelation that I got last night. I want to put it together in a little bit better in-depth video about the DNA once again being found inside of us and how God records on our DNA His Word down through the ages. We, we know that He says that He would be in us, even in us, and also about writing His Word upon the tables of our heart. But you know, last night as I was reading Psalm 23, famous psalm you know the lord is my shepherd i shall not want you know and it goes on in there but when he gets to the part where he said thy rod and thy staff they comfort me i've always wondered why did he say that you know i'm talking about for years i have wondered about that particular scripture why does he say thy rod and thy staff they comfort me didn't seem to make any sense but you know the word that's used for there that, that is that says the word rod in Hebrew that's a very unique word it's the same one we find in Micah chapter 7 when I shared with you about it clearly shows the return of Moses as one of the two witnesses and what finds what I find fascinating about that was, was when Moses returns he comes with the rod of his heritage and it's a DNA in other words what's encoded inside of that witness that represents Moses the spirit of Moses coming upon this individual will have encoded in his his DNA everything that God had shared with him gosh 3,500 years ago and then when we look over here in Psalm 23 thy rod and thy staff they comfort me in other words inside of you is the Word of God buried in your DNA and the Holy Spirit is what revives that within us I can't wait to share that with you guys in depth to what it really is. Uh, and hopefully while I'm on the road here, I'll be able to upload Yana's video as well. Uh, I hope I brought the right disc with me there from the conference there in Duluth, Georgia. God bless you. We love you. Shalom. And thank you for being a part of our ministry with us. Shalom.